Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So not only these plants, now besides these we also have some plants which are a little different than these. So normally when we think of a plant, we think of something like this where uh, it, the plant grows vertically upward. So that, that's the uh, general expectation when we think of a plant. But there are a lot of plants which are very different in that regards. So let's look at these examples. So here we have uh, an example of pumpkin. So here you have a pumpkin plant. And this one is a money plant. So this is a money plant and this is pumpkin. So if you look at them, see, they, they are not going vertically upward. So it's like, um, it, it's kind of climbing the money plant. So money plant is an example of a climber because the stems are flexible. The stems can actually bind over uh, a strong support. So let's say you have a rod like this. So the stems are so soft and flexible that they can turn around this. They, are, they can climb up this rod and that's how they grow. Similarly, when you look at this pumpkin, so pumpkin plant is an example of a creeper. That is they creep along the ground. So they do not stand upright, but they move on the ground or they grow on the ground. So you see, you, they, their branches or the stem is going like this. The stem is kind of lying down on the ground and then it is traveling like this. So you see here in this way. So that's an example of a creeper. So another example of um, a climber could be a grapevine. So in grapevine also you would see the similar thing. So you see, this brown colored structure is a rod and then the grapevine is kind of climbing over this rod and that's how you have the plant. Think of a watermelon. Watermelon is again an example of a creeper. So watermelon, pumpkins, these are creepers. That is, they creep on the ground. So they do not stand upright. Whereas when it comes to climbers, these climbers, they climb on some solid support. So they need a solid support over which they can climb upon. So these are not the only examples of climbers and creepers. You have many other examples of such plants. So hereafter, when you visit a play, a park or a garden where you have variety of plants, just try to observe them and try to find out if they are herb, shrub or tree or if they are a creeper or a climber. So let us now look at the parts of a plant. So now we are not going to discuss about uh, each type of plant. Rather, we will talk about uh, in general, any plant, what are the parts that any plant would have. Now, any plant would have two major segments. So the first segment would be the root system and the second segment would be the shoot system. So root system uh, primarily talks about those parts of the plants which lies below the ground. So that's the root system. So this is the root system. Whereas those parts of the plants which lies above the ground, so that's the shoot system. So in the shoot system, you have a lot of different other parts of the plant. So let's see, when we talk about root system, we talk primarily about the root. So these are the roots of the plants, so as you see here. So these are the roots. So again, different plants have different types of roots. So there are many different types of roots also. So normally a, a root comes below the ground. So from that root, secondary roots branch up. From the secondary roots, tertiary roots start branching up. So it's something like this. This is your primary root. So from primary root, you have these secondary roots. From the secondary roots, you have these tertiary roots. And then again, you can have further uh, sub roots and so on. So the root system is all about the roots. And what about the shoot system? In the shoot system, we have many different parts like stem. So this part would be the stem because of which the plant keeps growing upward and it holds all other parts of the plants. So that's the stem. Leaf. So you have here leaf. Then you have the flowers. You have the fruits and the buds. So this is the bud. So bud is the bud is that structure which give rise to the flower. So when the bud grows, it matures to become a flower. So buds, flowers, fruits. So these are all parts of the shoot system. 
So now in the next uh, section of this lesson, what we will do is we will learn about each of these parts of the plant like root, stem, leaf, flower, fruit. So we will talk about each of them in more detail and we will see that what function do they perform in a plant. Now the question that might come to your mind is, is it necessary that all plants have exactly identical parts? So as I said that a plant has a stem, a plant has a root. So do, does that mean that every plant need to have similar type of stem or similar type of roots? Not really. Now some plants have uh, let's say bigger leaves while other plants have smaller leaves. Now some plants might also have no leaves at all. Some plants have swollen roots while other plants have uh, thin roots. Some plants have branched roots. So each of these parts can be different in structure in different plants. They can be different in function in different plants. So it is absolutely not necessary that all plants should have identical parts. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.